Hello everyone. Uh, in this second video, today we will look at how to create a 360 rendering um, from the first part uh, where we started. We will just add some furniture elements, do some basic uh, coloring of the objects, add light, add a 360 camera and create a rendering. Okay, so let's see how this is done in 3ds Max. So the last time we left, uh, we finished uh, the basic layout of the studio apartment. Now what we will do is uh, we will do some basic color corrections. So we'll have white walls, uh, the furniture we will add a brown color. So we'll add this for the furniture. This one for now we will make it gray. This wall will be white. The door will be brown also. We can make a dark brown. Uh, we want to close this door so that we don't have to do some extra modeling. And we'll make it dark brown as well. Okay, this is the bathtub which is white in color. We will make the appliances a red color. This is again our cabinet, which will be brown. This and these, because the walls are white, we will add brown cabinets and the appliance is red. All right, this wall will be white as well. Is it not selecting? All right. So that's our basic color. Now we will add uh, the floor. So we don't want this rectangle. This rectangle, we will name it floor. And we need this floor, the top view, we need this floor to follow in the kitchen as well. So kitchen and the living room will have the same floor. So we'll have a nice continuous floor. So the small space will look big. So we will uh, add an edit line modifier. So we have access to the vertex and we will ask refine this. So right click and refine. And we want one here and then we will want one more vertex here okay now we can uh, go to the move tool to get out of the refine tool and this is the wardrobe area and even the wardrobes will have the tile so we'll move it till here and we can select the segment and select this segment and move it all the way out till here Okay, now there will be an angle formed here, so you can fix this angle by selecting only this vertex and moving it left. All right, and then this floor we will add an extrude modifier. Okay, and the value is minus one centimeter. So, if you get it, you get that floor to the minus one centimeter. And I'm going to put this color for the floor. All right. So, we need a floor for our balcony as well. So, select this. I will name it balcony floor. And we are simply going to add an extrude modifier with minus one. Okay, and then we will add the same color for now. Might have a different color later on. We will need some different tiles in the bathroom. So I'll select the bathroom rectangle and name it bathroom floor, for example. Again, we will just add the same color floor and then we'll add extrude. 
minus 1. Alright, so we got the floor done, uh, furniture done, appliances done. Now, uh, to make things look a little better, uh, every object in real life has softer edges, not so hard. So we are going to add a chamfer modifier to all of these and then the segments will be 2. Okay, so it creates a nice soft look. So all these objects will have a chamfer modifier segments of 2 and then the bias is 0.5 it's a little chamfer okay the refrigerator we can add oh, more chamfer there Let's add a chamfer and then make it amount 5 and segments 2 ok so you can add chamfer to this one also ok this is quite sharp so we will make it one okay so we will add some panels for the wardrobe here so and again this rectangle needs to go we don't need that so we'll declutter our scene by deleting all the rectangles now we don't need, we have created one here, get rid of it. Okay, uh, so here we will add a box and this total distance is around 1.9. So we can have like uh, three panels for our wardrobe, so say uh, around 62 probably so I'll make this 62 this will be 3 centimeters and height is same as the height of the room and then this will have furniture color okay there you go and we will copy three of these so i'll copy one and then i'll instance it and say two okay so space it a little bit and because they are instanced we can select any one and we can add a chamfer to that also Then the chamfer value has to be much lower, so 0.5. All right, so we got the wardrobes and everything else is done. Uh, now we can add a camera and then do some basic lighting. So let us save our work. And first we will add a physical camera. Slightly move it up so I can select in the middle so both of these are selected and we want to place the camera at eye level so the height of this should be around 130 to 150 so 145 for example and then you can look straight up now you can go to 
physical camera and you can look through the camera and you can decide what kind of why is it not changing all right okay and then what i have done is i have used a 75 millimeter lens so that it creates a wide angle okay in the render settings we will use 720 by 405 so it is faster to render um, in the render settings remember that uh, we are using Arnold renderer we will render the camera and lock it 720 by 405 denoiser and I'll, we will turn on apply on beauty okay um, and then that's basically our camera setup now we need to add lights so what I did was I went to HDRI heaven and found an HDRI image of a building okay so you can go to urban and try to find tall buildings so as if this is an apartment in a high-rise apartment building so you can find like tall buildings that you are looking through from the window so if you hit the 8 key I will assign an environment map of an HDRI image and I'm using this image so you can see that it has tall buildings all right so that image will be placed now we don't have a ceiling so we need to create a box for a ceiling okay and again that will be white color name it ceiling and if you right click on move we'll move it 150 centimeters above okay so it will lie exactly on top the height is not really important but if you want you can make it say five centimeters or something so now you have a ceiling also uh, and then we assigned uh, the HDR image so we can now render it out and you can see that we get a fair bit of light coming into the room okay but overall it is quite dark so what we will do is add another light go to lights add a light and we will use a distant light that comes from outside and falls onto the roof okay so if you go to the 8 key when we add an environment we also have a physical camera exposure and this light has a exposure of 4 and a density of 1 that is what I have used so it adds much more light into the scene okay we are going to have a glass panel here we'll have uh, curtains so the final uh, rendering and lighting we can work on later on but right now we just wanted uh, some more light into our room so this looks uh, okay all right so once we are happy we can also actually turn around and look on the other side for example I'll move this camera here and look on the other side and render it out and see how the other side looks how far the light is traveling how things are looking inside and then we will add the VR camera okay 
Okay, so you can see that the other side was quite bright, but here there is quite darkness. So what we can do is we can make this light come down and this light well, can go here and add a target. So you can select the target, move it up and move it up like this so that more light passes. I think that is good. Uh, I don't want to spend time rendering it again. So I'll delete this and then we will add a camera. Uh, we are going to go to Arnold. We are going to use VR camera and simply click once in the front view. And an Arnold camera is added. We want that camera in the middle of our living room. Okay, approximate middle in the living room, somewhere here like this. And if I right click here, you can see it is at 126, so we want it at like uh, 145 height, which is like a eye level approximately, depending on how long or short guy is. If you want to have like a feeling of a tall guy or short guy, you can fix whatever it is. So 150 around is good enough. Okay, so we can change this from camera to Arnold and uh, it will look weird but that's not really important. Okay, basically the camera has to exist and the mode we are going to use left eye or right eye, any one. Okay, lateral, everything else remains the same. Only thing we change is left eye or right eye. Okay, that's all is important. Now to render this out, we need a uh, resolution of 1k or 2k so 1k means uh, you can go to custom and we have to have 1024 or 2048 actually by 1024 so this is a 2k image and then you simply hit the render button and it's going to render uh, 360 degrees you can see now there's much more light going through to the kitchen. This is the kitchen, this is our living room, this is the wardrobe. Okay, by the time this is rendering, uh, what I suggest is uh, under Chrome, you can download the Panorama Viewer app. Okay, you can search for it. Uh, panorama viewer so you can see your 360 image uh, in panorama Yes, we have to go to panorama viewer in this time. Chrome. Okay. website I think it's already downloaded so it's still rendering You can see that the denoiser is doing a pretty good job. You can see that there's quite a bit of noise which will be created cleaned by the beauty denoiser.
in the next class uh, we will start adding uh, more details to our room uh, texture maps and uh, in the next many classes we'll look at uh, everything in detail how to make the curtains and we're going to have an animated 360 view so there's a ceiling fan that is rotating the curtain that is blowing in air uh, we can have steam coming out in the kitchen there can be a teapot there uh, so we'll, and then there can be a wall clock which has a second hand moving um, and then there can be like a pendulum animating uh, so we'll be adding all these features in the future classes so stay tuned for uh, those videos uh, I'll be uploading soon We will add some paintings, uh, dining table. So you can see that it is uh, rendered. We have to save this image uh, wherever you want to save it. And I'm saving it as render one and just save it as JPEG. Okay. It's saved as a JPEG image. And then we will go to our app. And go to choose file and we'll just open the render one and you can see the rendered view so that's our bed here it's a wardrobe that's the kitchen it's kitchen door light coming through the refrigerator so we have created a 360 rendering of our interior room and then we will add textures and other furniture elements to uh, create a more detailed, well-designed studio apartment. Thank you very much.